Caesar, there we go. Okay, I knew I'd find someone here. Caesar. Okay, what I want you to do is all of you take a deep breath and hold it in until I let you tell you to let go, okay? Keep holding it in. Okay. So, the amazing thing is that life evolved on Earth for two billion years before it began to use oxygen. And before that, it, it didn't use oxygen, it used photosynthesis. Okay, you can, okay, let go. Okay. The British audience is very obedient. If I did this in the States, everyone would be breathing. But anyway, um, oxygen is vitally important for us, we've discovered. We can li only live without it for a few minutes. But that changed everything. When life discovered how to use oxygen, which was only about two billion years into the history of the Earth, because by the way, there used to be no oxygen on Earth, no free oxygen. One of the ways we may discover life elsewhere in the universe is by looking at other planets and looking for oxygen atmospheres. Because all of the oxygen created on Earth was created by life. It used to be in the form of carbon dioxide. No free oxygen existed when the Earth existed. All of the oxygen on Earth now was created by life forms. Initially single-celled molecules, single-celled life forms that learned how to do photosynthesis at the surface of the Earth. And Earth and took carbon dioxide and water and puffed out little bits of oxygen over billions and billions of years. It took about two billion years before the present oxygen atmosphere was there. But that tells us that we are connected in a, in a remarkable way, not just to everything else in the universe, but to everything that's ever existed on Earth. Because when you took that deep breath and held it in, it turned out, one can show, that in every breath you take, there are on average at least 10 oxygen atoms from the dying breath of Caesar when he said, a tu brute. Every time you breathe in, every single time you breathe in, you're breathing in atoms that Caesar breathed out in his dying breath. But not only that, not just Caesar, but almost everyone else who ever lived. Because you can work out the time it takes for oxygen to be recycled in the atmosphere, and you can work out how many atoms there are in the atmosphere, how many atoms there are each time you breathe, and every time you breathe, you're breathing in atoms from basically everyone who ever lived making up your body. From people that it seems strange and different. And for me, as a theoretical physicist, every time I'm sitting at my desk getting nothing done, which is often, I sit there and I think every time I'm breathing in, I'm breathing in atoms that Einstein breathed out when he wrote the last step of the equation of general relativity. So you can decide, depending on a good day or a bad day, how you feel. You are connected in a way to everyone who's ever lived. Here's me and Lucy. Every time I breathe in, I, she's a little young lady that lived about three million years ago, and I'm breathing in atoms from Lucy. I'm breathing in atoms from these stromatolites, which were the original single-celled objects. These are fossils in Shark Bay, Australia. But every time they puffed out that oxygen, they're atoms that I'm breathing in from their creation. And it's not just breathing, it's drinking. This again is a British audience, so Shakespeare seems important, useful. Will all great Neptune's oceans wash this blood clean from my hand? You remember this from Macbeth. No, this my hand will rather the multitudinous seas incarnadine. Let me turn that into English, modern English. Remember every time when he killed the king and he said, my hands, they won't clean. Every time I dip my hands into water, I turn the water red. Well, it's true in a general sense. If you prick your finger and drop a drop of your blood in the Thames River and then go out in the ocean a year later and take a spoonful of water, there'll be some of the atoms of your blood in that water. You are connected. Every time you drink, you're drinking in liquid excreted by every slimy thing that ever existed. <laughs> and I don't normally say this in a public audience, but here it will be unique because I wrote it in my book once, but it's true. Every time you drink water, you're drinking in atoms from the sweat of your parents' coupling that created you. <laughs> Just think of that. Anyone want some water? Okay. The last thing before we, we, we get to sing, I guess. <laughs> 